Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. Podcast with The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 14, Twice As Far. I'm your host, Cleo, and with me I have John and Dom. Howdy. Hello. Hi. Ooh. I'm sad. This was an episode. I didn't see it coming. I saw something bad coming. I did not see how bad. Because this had layers to how bad it was. Like an it's ogre. Like, a, <laughs> like I was gonna say a cake, but yeah, an ogre works. <laughs> <laughs> Ogres have layers. Oh my god. Uh yeah, I mean I guess we're just gonna start with that. Cause like how could you not? Um Elephant in the fucking room. I it, don't know. Talk about it. She was talking. Giving- she was giving a great speech. She was. She was using her psychiatric abilities. The fact, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because because she was a therapist. That was her thing before they forced her to be a surgeon. Um. But it I, they they were stopped in the middle of train tracks, which have never been a good sign in this show. And I think, no. oh, and I didn't even realize because Na- Na- Daryl probably triple blames himself because he. They took him back. They took the train tracks back when they shouldn't. They took, have. They took the train tracks back. Uh. The guy, the guy who he didn't kill, shot her with his crossbow. So that's th- three things. Mm-hmm. No. I was trying to figure out why he was afraid of the train tracks. Was it because of a, a was it a terminus thing? Uh, uh, that's what I was thinking. As soon as he said we're not taking train tracks, I was like, uh, terminus. Yeah, I, I instantly thought yeah. of terminus as well. Okay, because yeah. that's that was my thought. I just didn't know if there was something I missed, but no, I'm pretty sure the the connection was supposed to be made to terminus. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. At least that's I mean that's definitely what I thought um, at first. But yeah, God, I. And I seriously, the, there, there was the whole scene with Tara and, and Denise last episode. Mm-hmm. And I was yes. like, oh, Tara's not coming back. And you were wrong. I was wrong. At least Tara said, I love you. <laughs> no, he's just going to come back. Uh, they're going to have to mm. tell his girlfriend's dead. I'm not okay. Yeah, okay. that's, that's going to suck. This, this was really rough. This was a really rough one. Yeah. And this one was just shock. I w- had my jaw open for the rest of the episode. <laughs> yeah, mine was permanently wired, sh- like wired open. Like Cause she, and I mean, usually with deaths like that, that's the end of the episode. But we had like you know, fifteen, twenty minutes left in the episode. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I I literally paused it. And I looked at the remaining time, and I was like, uh-uh. "Oh God, there's more." Uh uh-uh. yeah. Like Who I else? paused it. And just look, because she was still talking. She was still talking. She finished that was her the sentence. Worst part. That was the worst part. Uh, you know, funny enough, um, in the comics, that was supposed to be Abraham. Oh, mm. wow. Yep. So. And then they, they drag Eugene Ford, and I'm like, no! Not Precious Mullet. Not Precious Mullet! <laughs> that asshole was behind the barrel. Week, John, he has- how? John, how did you know I was I was literally going to say precious mullet? How did you know? I don't know. Get that <laughs> asshole behind the barrels. He deserves it more than us. That yeah. was so funny. <laughs> well, not funny, but hindsight, it's funny. Mm-hmm. I was like, Eugene, what the fuck are you doing right now? Someone said he cut the mullet. He didn't cut the mullet. He just. I thought he was. I thought he did. I didn't see he tied okay. it back. He just, he yeah, from back. the preview, yeah. like if you see the preview and you're like only he's... seeing him head, you know, front on, like and That's slightly like to the side, you're you're not gonna see it. Yeah, so. it looked like it was gone. But... Yeah. Nope. He still got the precious mullet. It's just mm-hmm. being tamed. 
Dude, Maybe. he bit a guy's dick. Uh, that, is a, right okay. that is not okay. That is not okay. I don't know how to bite a man's dick, and I mean that in the nicest way possible. In the most respectful way possible. The most respectful way possible. That, that was not okay. Two. It this wasn't was, just it wasn't just biting it. It wasn't just biting he it. Held he held onto it. He he wanted it. Mm -hmm. was, what? Yeah. He didn't what? want to let go. He wanted it. He wanted to keep it. No, he wanted to bring the dude down. He wanted to bring it home with him. <laughs> he, <wanted to> rip <laughs> he was trying to rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> Hell I would. He just shot Denise. <sighs> that was I would think I was more shocked at Eugene biting the guy's dick than I was at Denise's eye missing. To be completely this is, honest. This is not a good season for people's eyes. No. No. This is the second no. one, right? Mm hmm What, what was yeah. the first? Carl. Carl. Car yeah, yeah. Um, was there another one? I feel like there, there might have been another one, like way. If there early. was, it was a zombie. Yeah, yeah. probably. Gross eye shit. The show. Yeah. Yeah, really. Sorry, John. Yeah. Oh well, I got kind of got used to it at this point. This this was a fantastic <laughs> episode, though, for for uh, Abrahamisms. Uh, because it what stuck out to me, I had to write it down immediately. That that's as hard as picking up a turd by the clean end. Mm -hmm. That one made a lot of sense. You just gotta <laughs> applaud that man. <laughs> clearly, golf clap. He gets a golf clap from me. Yeah, I mean, clearly a man of poetry. Mm, yeah, he should write poetry. Mm -hmm. I think it would be interest an interesting read. <laughs> uh, so I guess because it's too hard to talk about Denise right now, let's talk about Eugene and Abraham. They go off to some. Uh, smeltery, I guess, is the only term word I could find to describe it. Smeltery. It's a smeltery. It had it had those, you know, big things. I don't know what they're cauldrons. I guess where you melt the, uh, where you melt metal. Smelters. And, um, yeah, smelters. There you go. Uh, and funny enough, it was actually a metal shop at uh, Georgia College, Georgia University. So, oh, that's where they filmed it. Cool. <laughs> they did a good job of making the place look extremely run down or that school <laughs> is just, just really shitty. I've that's gone, just how bad it is. I have gone to a city university. I know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I said something bad. Oh, yeah. Eugene thinks he can make, make bullets. They, you know, they keep the shell casings after they've shot them. Then uh, he's just going to fill them up with whatever scrap metal they got. There seems to be a decent supply of metal in there, yeah. uh, as we see from the uh, stab-proof zombie. Oh, <laughs> goodness, that that was cool. That was like the the Targaryen zombie. That was like <laughs> if uh, if uh, Viserys Targaryen uh, came back as a zombie. Hmm. It really looked like they just poured molten whatever on there. I guess it was someone in the you know defending themselves. I don't know why the first thing they grabbed was molten silk. It looked like silver, iron, maybe steel, something. It's not silver. It's too expensive. That's true. And I it mean, wouldn't have bounced. It wouldn't have deflected a machete. So to me, to me, that they seems it seems more of like maybe something in the shop was left unattended. You know, mm -hmm. at the the zone. Like, what if some guy's working on something? He's he's heating the metal it up. Turns into a zombie. And a zombie comes into the place and he freaks out and runs away. Mm -hmm. And the zombie walks under the thing as it's dripping. Oh, see, this is exactly the thing where it's like those those sorts of of that sort of stuff. Like we'll never know, right? You know, we we see all these the setup of something that happened, and we'll never know what happened. And I sort of just love that about the show, where you could just literally, you know, paint your own picture of what happened. Yeah. See, I, I would love for more web series tie-ins to like. Yeah. Just little minor thing. Like, can you imagine if there was a companion, like, five to ten minute webisode for every single episode, just of one random little cool thing that happened that you could tie to the episode? Like, That'd be something, you know, something that happened with that zombie. Like, everybody would be super interested in it, you know? 
Yeah. Just a, the, a little snapshot of the past, yeah. I like imagining, though. I think the, the, the not knowing is part of the show. Yeah. 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 I mean... Imagination. I, I mean, like, we, we had the whole... I mean, there was a, probably a whole movie's worth of story that went on in that pharmacy, you know, considering just what was going on in there. You mm-hmm. know, we saw the bloody hands oh. trying to get into the store on the front. Yeah. Um, that place was run down to shit. The, the floor was sticky. And uh, there was a baby's P.T. drowned shoe. baby in the sink. There was a yeah, dead baby. Was- very reminiscent of the it, game. Yeah. Of tea. And just hush written on the wall over and over again with that. I mean, de- that definitely to me <sighs> seemed like the person and their, their baby locked yeah. themselves in there, started starving, and yeah. she drowned the baby. She and drowned the baby. Died herself. Or himself. Uh, I cannot, was a, could not that, determine the gender of that. Well, question. that yeah, I mean the zombie was. I mean the, the zombie was so emaciated that it, it, you know had to have been starvation. So yeah, no, that was, was definitely it wasn't a, even just that. It was like decaying itself. Like yeah, the, like the brains and stuff. I don't think are like sustenance that keep the zombies alive. The zombies are alive no matter what. Yeah. So it's something chemicals, you know, like cause it, it was an apothecary. So uh, it seemed like a lot of different. Like you, you look at the floor and the way the the pictures and the posters and stuff were were almost like dissolved into the floor. Yeah. You know, like you couldn't really see where they started and began, but you, oh. you could still make the images of the posters and pictures out. So oh. I think there's just like open chemicals in the air and stuff is just mm-hmm. decaying. So um, that that and being contained and moisture and all that, I think, is what led for that corpse to get as deteriorated as it as it did. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would venture to say you're probably right about that. Yeah. I also want to point out, um, speaking oh, since we're on the subject of the, the baby, yeah. um, that was kind of a running thing this episode. Um, you know, they there was like a lot of references to babies and infants, like when they, the car that Denise was going to had a stroller next to it. Oh for yeah. Instance. Um, obviously the shoe and the sink, um, the crib and everything, and. Oh, there's another one, and I can't think of it now. Um, I wish I could remember. Have we? Anyway, it was a running thing <laughs> this episode. Yeah. Have we seen any zombie infants yet? No, we've seen zombie children. Children, right. but not. Why do you? Why do you think that is? Uh they don't last. They can't move very far and honestly if a zombie got to a baby they probably would have just completely eaten it yeah and there's not much there yeah but the, we know that that's not the only way they, they could turn if a baby was left in a stroller or and just, a crib yeah. and just died it's got the virus in it yeah you know i'm not sure it's even something the show is willing to broach right now right yeah. you know, just as like writers and whatnot i don't think they're really willing to do that Yet, we don't. I mean, this is probably the closest we've gotten. Because I mean, we did see like, like a baby dying. Yeah, but I mean, like, because the in the the comics, obviously, when it came time for the prison, uh, Judith was supposed to be obliterated in that. Yeah. Uh, scene. She wasn't. So yeah, the the writers are clearly going in a different direction. I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I don't want to see it. I'm just I was curious as to why you think we haven't seen something like that yet. Well, I also think that babies. I mean, baby. The the brain is what keeps a zombie being a zombie, and a baby's skull is not strong. That could be. Yeah. So if if there is a horde of zombies and there is a baby zombie there, getting trampled is enough to stop it. Mm. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. their, their their durability is much less than uh, a zombie that can stand on two feet. Right. Yeah. And walk faster than crawling. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it was interesting imagery, nonetheless. I think that they were, you know, sh- I think it was to sort of, you know, weirdly parallel Denise and. Um, 
Eugene's stories because this was an episode of them sort of trying to grow up, and essentially, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we got to see things that didn't get a chance to grow up, kind of like you know Denise. <laughs> she kind of got there and then, you know, got cut short, and then and Eugene luckily made it out with a scratch. So yeah, you know, uh, and she just like did a thing herself too. She just killed that walker. And puked up her own. I mean, you know, nobody's perfect. But it gave her an excuse to not have glasses on when she got shot in the back of the head. Uh... <laughs> you know, it's oh. funny because I looked away for a second while she was giving that speech and I looked back and there was an arrow through her head and I was like, oh my. Yeah. I when did, did the that happen? No, I, I had thing. my I had my eyes glued because I'm like they're in the middle of op they're in the middle of the open, yelling at each other. Something's getting attracted. I was not expecting at all, I not, not at all. I, was, I literally turned to look. I was I was looking at an email I just received on my second monitor. I turned, looked at it, and then I heard her speech pattern slowing down, and I was like, I look back and there's an arrow in her eye, and I was like what the f and i had to rewind it and i was like oh my god yeah was, no yeah. that was not this is not cool um she didn't even see it coming she didn't Can even know it happened already? after it happened i said i didn't see it coming oh she didn't see it coming <sighs> yeah um so before Denise gets shot, she's telling Daryl and Rosie to fucking pull up their pant, big boy pants. And live. And, uh, yeah. Stop being afraid of whatever they're being afraid of. Um, because they're strong and they're kind and they're better than they think they are. And I think, honestly, because Daryl lately has been very un-Daryl lately. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's because he's holding like this regret he's like oh, i should have killed him and then he's got this where he's like i i should be thinking like that i should be thinking of just you know pulling the trigger first mm -hmm. and i hope this like lets him look at himself in a different way now well no because he was proven uh, correct <laughs> i mean yes i know but <laughs> I hope he just remembers her words and not her death. Exactly. You Which know? is going to be very hard because yeah. of all of the layers to her death. Right. The dude yeah. he let get away, the, 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 his own crossbow. The, he Got went back, back on, he went yeah. back on not taking the, the railroad tracks. Exactly. You know, he, he mean, went there, he took the long way, you know, and yeah. they, they, you know, they followed or Denise followed at least. Yeah, and I didn't like on the way back. I was like, wh "Why are they taking the tracks back when Daryl was so adamant on not taking them to begin with? Like, what convinced him? Nothing changed between then and and there in in terms of like stuff like that. I don't know. Like in, in regard to like, well, I think one thing that changed was Rosie made it all the way without running into any problems. I think that was one thing. I think another thing was, you know, Denise looked sad <laughs> and he didn't want to break up the party again. So he was like, let's just, you know, we can go. Rosie was fine. Let's go. Yeah. Sort of like that because she was she was very upset after the apothecary. So, I mean, I'm almost a little glad because Rosie would be dead. Probably. Eugene might be dead. You know, so. Yeah. What do you think would have happened if they didn't take the railroad tracks, though? If they just if walked none of together. Them took it. Yeah, if they all took the road. I think Eugene would have bit it, and Abraham wouldn't have had enough firepower to take them out on his own. Yeah. Eugene still would have bit it? Yeah. So I don't think Abraham would have had it in a very different way. But by, by bit it, are you talking about he would have died, or he still would have bit that guy's He, he would have munched on that man's penis and then got killed. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
No, I see. I think I think uh, two outcomes. I, like obviously, I think it, it still would have happened. Um, uh, like, I think it would have happened either at the car when they finally made it back to the car. Because right. at first I was thinking the the downed tree was a trap. I think we were all thinking that. Um, I didn't think it was just an honest tree yeah, had no, fallen. No, I, th- I, I thought it was a trap. That happened. <laughs> yeah, so I think it would have either either happened there when they were loading back into the car, just about to get ready to leave, or they would have marched Eugene straight to the front door of Alexandria. That, well, that here's the true. thing, because. Because they know about it. They want in. They've been looking at it. Like, yeah, exactly. We know this. We know that they've been, you know, and so this is stuff Daryl's going to have to take back to the group and, and tell them because they're not safe if people are doing this stuff and are ready to come in and are watching them and know what they have. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do we have anything else before we, we're going to talk about Alexandria a little bit? But I want to make sure we got everything we wanted to talk about about um, Denise and the outside and stuff. It and, was nice to see Abraham and Rosita come together again with their kind of like original crew mm-hmm. and help Eugene. There really wasn't much of a thought. Yeah, they put to like you know just wrap it up and helping him. Yeah, and I thought that was nice. Yeah, it was the three of them for such a long time. Yeah. So uh, that that was kind of cool to see that back together. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I and I and I guess some weird acknowledgement that her and Abraham are like kind of okay. Yeah. Sort of, kind of, I guess. Yeah, and it was interesting because I always thought that Rosie had like some sort of military training but she sort of hinted when she was talking to Denise that she learned it from Abraham she yeah learned how to fight from Abraham mm-hmm. it would appear that way yeah so that was an interesting thing to learn <laughs> like such a very small tidbit of information that means a lot yeah cause uh, that kind of gives Abraham this weird like point where you know in the comics he doesn't exist anymore so they could kind of do stuff with him and like do we expect him to die you know like maybe abraham's gonna be the one to bite the dust instead of you know maybe that's their escape route abraham bites the dust instead of uh glenn or daryl or something like that and Mm. somebody you know we still kind of care about but wouldn't be as big of a deal to some of us i don't know man i mean it's no daryl it's no daryl or or glenn dying you know, Abraham is no Gl- Daryl Glenn. It's still, it would be terrible to have him go, but it's it would not be anywhere near as bad as, as the two of them. It would mean that Sasha is literally cursed. Mm-hmm. So, don't date her. Seriously. So let's, let's go back to Alexandria. At the beginning of the episode, we saw the same thing happen every I thought, morning, I thought every my, day. I thought my stream was broken. Me too. I thought so, something was wrong. I was like, wait, did I? Because I rewinded for a second to catch the conversation between Morgan and Rick again. And mm-hmm. then I, I was like, did I rewind too far? Like, what just happened? Yeah, no, it was just showing there was a monotony to the days in Alexandria. It was like almost exactly the same. But then like, um, who was that? Rosita up top? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No? Sasha. Sasha. Sasha was, Sasha was up top, and she oh, looked man. down, you know, at Eugene, and she kind of gave him a, a very slightly different look the second the second time she did it. So mm-hmm. I was like, I can't tell, like, if this is my imagination or if this is a really, like, terrible glitch in the stream that I'm watching. And then when it got to the Carol scene yeah. and uh, her man, I forget his name, like, uh, came Tobin? Over, Tobin gave him a kiss, the gave her a kiss the the second time around. I was like, or she was praying or something the second time around. The third time was the kiss. I was just like, okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm yeah. not going nuts. Yeah, but you saw it was just like, you know, there is the routine every morning. You know what? What's her name? the The inventory lady opens the garage and takes inventory, and every day, 
it was interesting to see like some this weird cycle that they've kind of never had before. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> they they they're for them the war had ended, mm-hmm. and so they just went back to the day to day, yeah, kind of thing. It's kind of nice seeing Father Gabriel patrolling with his rifle. Yes. Yeah. But he has become the warrior priest. Yes. But see, they wouldn't be doing this if if they didn't, because this is something, Cleo, that you were saying last episode that you didn't think that's that was the case. Rick thinks he killed Negan. He thinks it's over. They think it's done. I guess you're right. Yeah, that wasn't something I picked up on um, or even thought. But yeah, it does seem that way because uh, we find out Morgan did build a jail. Mm-hmm. Lined it with uh, cinder blocks. And Rick comes, sees what he's done, and, and Morgan is like, next time you'll have a choice. Right. So clearly that, that statement sounds like they think they won. You know, next time there's a conflict. Mm-hmm. You know, sort of like this conflict's wrapped up. <laughs> right. Oh, man. And I know who's going to sit in that cell, too. It's killing me. I like you know a for a fact. Yeah, I have a feeling, and I'm sure John knows because of the the graphic novel. Um, mm-hmm. My guess is the real Negan, but that's that's just I don't know. Will the real Negan please stand up? Yes. Like thirty generic white males just get out of their chairs. It's like, what the fuck, how, how common 30, is that name? We're all Negan. Look, thirty men that look vaguely like Jeffrey Dean Morgan stand up. Right. Yeah. We're all Negan. I keep Googling what Jeffrey Dean Morgan looks like, so I'm like, wait, is that... No, never mind. <laughs> you, you don't you don't know what Jeffrey Dean Morgan looks like, Sam? Like, not off the top of my head, no. Uh, see, me, Cleo, at least have the, the Jeffrey Dean Morgan connection to John Winchester from Supernatural. So I, he's, he's burned into him. our head. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay, that's I knew him know. as the comedian first. Okay, yeah, Watch from Watchmen. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> He should be. He's terrible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's the cell. And I thought there was something else I was going to say about Alexandria before we talk about Carol running away. Can we talk about Abraham and Sasha and the fact that they're porking? That's what I wanted to mention. Yes, you're right. They're porking. They porked Wait, at least you, once. You know, you know him from Watchmen before Supernatural? I told you, I only started watching Supernatural season seven. Oh. I caught up before season... Oh, no. I caught up before season eight. Oh. Because I just had to look, and because I was like, I, I thought Watchmen started after Supernatural. It, it did. It's it, it, 2009, yeah. Jeez. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, they porked at least once. Mm-hmm. At least and one time. Slash. So, yeah. That happened. Mm-hmm. And you and saw you saw the day after it happened, like she looked at Rosita a little differently. A little so bit. Not to look at look at Rosita and like a oh damn, I took uh, shit. <laughs> right. This is weird. Yeah. Um, and that is a thing that happened. But oh yeah, Carol leaves. She leaves a note. And leaves the town. I don't Twice know what now. to say about that. Twice now. Yeah, but she's not. She didn't, was not forced to leave this time. No. She was bringing up the whole like Rick exiled me, and uh, I came back, and like I wasn't supposed to come. Like what? Like I don't know. Like the whole reason she came back was was Beth, right? That was the, that was the time when. Or am I, I yes. missing yeah. information? Like... Because Beth... No, wait. No, that was before that. She came through the woods and helped them when they were escaping the prison. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what happened. So she was just when, floating around. And no, when saved. they were... Hold on. It was... Yeah, no, it was when called... they were escaping Terminus, not the prison. No, no. I thought she just, like, not... nuked Terminus. She came to the prison to meet up with Tyrese and save. She saved Judith. Yeah. That was the end of the prison. 
Terminus, but she didn't meet the rest of the group until right. she saved them from Terminus. Th- that's how she, her and Tyrese and the girls ended up together. Right. Yes. So. Because she snuck in while the whole thing with the governor was going on. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But th- this is because she said, like, I, I'm leaving because I can't kill for this this town anymore. I can't do it. Yeah. So. So she thinks that leaving the people she loves will protect them. I don't. I don't understand. <sighs> it's not the way I thought that was going to go. I just. No. I don't understand at all. She's. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. It's pretty simple. She just ran away from her problems. She, you know, she feels guilty for getting her and Maggie into that whole mess in the first place. I think because she could have killed that guy. No, that that's the thing. Yeah, she didn't say a word to Daryl, but she did say that he was right, and I think that scared the shit out of her because she's like, "Oh God, he did have to kill them." That's why Denise is dead. Yeah. You know? Um, and she, I guess, could not deal with that reality. Like, yeah, I'm going to have to keep killing if I'm here. And she just can't do it anymore. But I don't understand what she thinks she's going to... What, she's not going to ever run into anyone out, out there? She's never going to have to be put I don't in think that's situation. the point. I, don't, I think the point is she doesn't want other people's lives on her shoulders. Yeah. And just, she would just rather just have her own. And she's going to... And like, like you said, yeah, she's going to run into people out there. But if it comes to that, it's just her now. And she could feasibly die knowing that it was just on her shoulders. And, and that's then... actually... Carol, look yeah. at the flowers. But that's the 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 hypocrisy she saw in, uh, um, in Morgan. It's like, how could you make these decisions with other people's lives at stake? Now she's on her own, so she can make those risks... Right. With no one else's lives at stake. Mm-hmm. I'm having such a hard time whenever I hear the word Morgan, the name Morgan now, because I'm no longer thinking of the character Morgan. I'm thinking of Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So. Morgan is Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Negan, so Morgan equals ne- Negan. Oh my god, oh my god. Yay. We are Negan. We're all Negan. Yeah, I was just at. If I was. Gawking at uh, being shocked at Denise's death, I was also had my mouth open for Carol leaving. Just like what? Mm-hmm. Daryl panicking. I mean, yeah, he lost his best friend. Yeah. See, I thought that letter was just her leaving. Uh, Me too. <laughs> leaving him. I was like, oh, and good. She's gone, gone. She's I thought. I thought she gone. was announcing like. That she was going to go live with Daryl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like something nice. Oh that wasn't God. nice. That what a been... time to leave. Like I know. You're about to be under attack. They don't know that. Well, yes, they do. Daryl told them. Daryl sure. knows, knows it now. Carol didn't know that. Well, no, well I guess yeah. she did. She... I don't know. Well, we only got two weeks left, so That's it's coming it. soon anyway. Uh, Two? I thought we had three. No, this was three. Show ends on the third. Uh, the tenth. Fear t- starts, so we have two episodes left. I guess you're right. I'm not crazy. I'm looking at a calendar. <laughs> I didn't say you were crazy. Episode 16 is the last episode. Mm-hmm. We're on 14, kiddo. So... It's coming soon. Big yeah. Bad Wolf. Not ready. I think we all know who the Big Bad Wolf is. Jeffrey well, Dean Morgan. <laughs> Next week is East. When someone goes missing in Alexandria. Someone. Really? Guys? Someone? Who? Who could it be? <laughs> when someone goes missing in Alexandria, the community goes on alert and search parties venture out. Uh, I feel like Daryl is going to do the dumbass hero thing and run blindly. Yeah, by search parties, they mean Daryl. They mean Daryl. I mean, it's not just going to be Daryl, but I feel like Daryl is going to just be, like, blindly running forward. And then he's going to find her, and then they're going to kiss, and it's going to be great. 
and stuff. But mm-hmm. she's she's smooching. She was smooching Tobin, and now she's not. It's gonna just gonna drop him like a hot sack of potatoes. He looks like a hot sack of potatoes. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way Tobin looks. He's Rubenesque. He's why <laughs> He looks like a sandwich. The Reuben. He he looks like he looks flannel. Like flannel. I'm Surrounding really potatoes. Anyway. I literally just pictured a Reuben sandwich in a flannel shirt. Okay. You can picture, yeah, you can picture that. That sounds great. Yeah, sounds amazing. Anyway. Very tasty. That, yeah, that's, I have nothing else to say. I just, I'm so, I can't. I can't. I get the feeling Tara's coming back next episode. I don't want to see that. So I get the feeling. And. I don't want to see that. I just want to hug the bunny. Bun, 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 bun. Mm-hmm. Bun, bun. Yeah. We'll see. John, where can the people find you? You can find me and this other low-key shit we've been doing, because, God, this week was sad. And no more, no more <laughs> on Twitter. Dom, where can the people find you? Comment down below. I think it's over here. At Phenomenon. P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. Do, 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 do. And you can find me at Cleo Moto on Twitch, Twitter, and Pinterest. And you can find all of us on ASO TV Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Google Plus, and right here on YouTube. Follow us for some more podcasts from some of your favorite TV shows. Until next time. Bye bye. Adios. Bun 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 bun. Psychologists don't survive the apocalypse. Fucked. Sorry, John. <laughs>